I believe in principled leadership to be the example and whatever I want others to do or what I think is the right thing to do to start from myself and evaluate if things are maybe not going in the right direction. What is it about my behavior and my direction or lack thereof that is contributing to the situation and stepping back and then calling it out and allowing my staff to also do that. And it really makes a huge difference. BALF was a great opportunity to step back and actually reflect on what leadership meant to me, what it meant to be a leader in the beingness of it, not the doingness of it. Having the opportunity to be in a class with people from different industries it makes you reflect on the necessity for dialogue among people who have different perspectives. It resonates with me because that's very important in a pluralistic society, that people see each other as human beings first. And where we may not agree politically, we can still care about each other and support each other in order to achieve the common good. I didn't realize that I had a connection to John W. Gardner from the time I was very young. Community health centers came out of the war and poverty and the whole philosophy of the Great Society. And that was so influential in my view of the world. And so without knowing it, I have been following in John Gardner's footsteps all these years in developing health centers. But the thing I'm most proud of is the fact that through my work, I've been able to offer a career path for a lot of young women, particularly women of color who would not have had an opportunity to become leaders. So I really want to take this moment to thank humbly all of the folks in ALF who nominated me for this award. There's so many people who deserve this kind of acknowledgement and it's very special to me that I was chosen and I, I really appreciate the thoughtfulness and acknowledgement that I've been given.